afternoon, family and friends, and welcome to the most important day in the lives of dear Asal and Hamid. Today is the beginning of a new journey, vows to love, cherish, and honor. Today is a very special day. Our beautiful couple have fallen in love. They have discovered true love in each other. Rumi, the greatest Iranian poet, says, love is not written on paper, because on paper, it can be erased. Nor is it etched on stone, because stone can be broken. But it's inscribed in the heart, and there it shall remain forever. Dear family and friends, this celebration has been a while in the making, as you know. But it is finally here. Yes, we changed the locations from Istanbul to London. Yes, we delayed the wedding date by 14 months. We went from 150 guests down to 70, momentarily down to 30. We arranged for Asal's wedding dress to be sent across from Turkey. And yes, I had to fit into a suit that was made to measure back in December 2019, <laughs> pre-lockdown. So, despite all these dynamics and challenges, why is it that people choose to mark and celebrate such occasions? In an attempt to keep my own sanity over the past few weeks or months, I came up with three reasons which I wanted to share with you. Number one, it is not an option. It is almost a responsibility to celebrate this life every step of the way. In other words, a wedding is your single best excuse to overdose on all the bounties life has to offer. Family, friends, food, wine, dance, laughter, and of course love. The second reason for marking such occasions is that it is also a celebration of two families coming together. Their respective sacrifices, dedication and love set the foundations of everything in our lives. The fact that I had the opportunity to meet Asal's father, spend time with him, and for him to be able to witness our civil ceremony means everything to us. And as for my father, I know how proud he would have been right now. It would have been my pleasure to introduce my beautiful wife and her family to him. They both live in our hearts, and their absence is marked greater on such special occasions. And that brings me to the third and most important reason why I'm in favor of marking such an occasion. And that reason is you. Almost exactly two years to this day, we traveled to Paris together. It turned out to be the hottest day recorded in France for 55 years. And naturally, this was the day I had chosen to ask you a very, very important question. In the moments just before my proposal and for the hours just after, as we walked in the gardens of Versailles, time seemed to stand still, with just us two in the frame. That day will always be etched in my heart and soul. You inspire me, and your mere existence has turned me into the best version of myself. I know there is much to improve on, but that will probably remain a work in progress until the very end. I cannot wait to go through the adventure of life with you. You're so beautiful, and especially so on this very special day. Happy is the moment when we sit together, with two forms, two faces, yet one soul, you and I. The flowers will blossom forever, the birds will sing their eternal song the moment we enter the garden, you and I. What a miracle of fate. Us sitting here. Even the opposite ends of the world will come together, you and I. You may now kiss your beautiful bride, Hamid John. <laughs> 